Hey everybody, welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. Today we're playing with another VTech remote toy. You may recall one I played with recently. Made quite a splash with me, but I thought we'd compare it. This one is the Click and Count remote, and it's for six to 36 months. So six months to three years. It says it's got imitating fun, it teaches numbers, imagination, colors, and some first words. So let's go ahead and get this open. It looks like it comes with the batteries included, so it's ready to go right out of the package. So... All right, so that was a fairly easy unboxing. VTech doesn't usually make it too difficult. I used my scissors because the back of the remote is held in with two plastic zip ties and they're uh, tightened down pretty tight so you have to just kind of wiggle the blade in and then clip it. But so far, this is a pretty weighty little remote. Um, it looks fairly real. Um, very much like my home remote. So I do like that about VTech toys is that they do try to make them look like the real thing because if you're trying to keep your kid from changing all the channels and like ordering pay-per-view from here at Kingdom Come, then you want it to look like the remote that they're after. So there are some instructions here just talking about the different activities, but my favorite is just to play as we go. So why don't you guys come in a little closer and we'll learn the features together. So here is our adorable little VTech remote. This is our click and count remote. The on-off slider is on the side here with volume adjust. There's lots of little buttons. All of these colored buttons around this little spinner. All the numbered buttons. And then these two interactive buttons on top. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on and all the way up. I thought these were interactive. Maybe they're just lights. Let's change the channel. Five. Eight. Zero. Blue. Purple. Eight. Channel. Eight. Look at the food. <coughs> Yummy. Channel. Five. The game is on. Channel four, channel three, channel two, Ch channel one, Car channel nine, the movie is starting. Oh, that's cool. So it remembers where you were at and counts down or up from there. Channel one, cartoons are on. Let's replay the movie. Channel recording. Not recording like a DVR. Volume down. Volume down. Volume up. Volume up. All right, so that's pretty much everything with this click and count remote. I think it's pretty cool. I like the little spinner here. Um, I think the coolest feature for me so far is the fact that when you press a number, it remembers when you come down here um, and press the up and down channel button. It says volume up and down, but it doesn't actually affect the toy. The volume adjust is only along the side here for us parents. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool that they had DVR built into this. You can really tell that the toys are different from when I was little. The click and count remote. I like it, and I don't like it at the same time. It has some really cool little nifty features like the um, DVR button. That was cute. I like that it talks to you and that it remembers what button you left off here when you're channel surfing on this button. I don't feel like it has as many education points as VTech wants you to think when you look at the box. You think, ooh, colors and shapes and numbers. and I'm not getting that from this. I think it's a cute toy. It's a great way to distract your toddler from the real remote so that you can watch TV in peace. But I think that's, it ends there for me. It might teach some numbers, but there's better ways to learn numbers than this one. 
in my opinion. It's a great little toy, but it, don't buy it for the education portions because it's just not quite there with this one. So guys, if you want to become part of the Toy Notes family, which I sure hope you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up. That'll also ensure you don't miss out on the top 2017 toy trends this year. I'm watching them close, making sure which ones are going to be on your kids' wish lists. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you know what's good and what's not on that wish list. <laughs> but until next time, guys, make sure you check us out at toynotes.com. And I'll see you next time.